time. Two weeks ago, we met John Bayette, a patient being seen at Claxon Hepburn by a pain specialist. That service abruptly stopped, leaving John wondering where he'd get the appropriate help. And since he shared his story, we've heard from more patients, and one of them spoke with 7 News reporter Keith Benman, who also has an update from the hospital. Donna Malewski's primary physician would only prescribe these opiate pain pills after three weeks of wrangling. Now, they're almost out again. When this bottle is out... Um, I'm only hoping and praying that my primary will come through for me. Malewski is a former patient of Dr. Juan Diego Harris at Claxton Hepburn. When he departed there in November, his patients were given a 30-day supply of pills and told to seek other care. That other care has been almost impossible to find for some, and for a reason. There's a limited number of doctors that are willing to do the pain management, and when you do find those doctors, sometimes they are not willing to prescribe the opiates just because of the opiate crisis. Malewski has a paralyzed hip, degenerative disc, severe joint pain. Her pain pills allow her to still do some simple household tasks. To me, was just unjust and moral and against their oath. They had nothing lined up. A 7 News broadcast on this same topic last week attracted more than 100 comments on Facebook, many from former patients of Dr. Harris and others of a physician who left Canton Potsdam Hospital about the same time. I spoke with Dr. Harris on the phone. He told me he misses his patients. We've heard any questions on his departure from Claxton Hepburn to the hospital. He said he understands that many doctors are afraid of prescribing pain medications. He emphasized that it takes special training to do so properly. Claxton Hepburn gave patients a list of doctors they could contact. When 7 News asked if the hospital is doing anything else to continue patient prescriptions, it gave this answer. Physicians must exercise independent professional medical judgment in determining the types and amounts of controlled substances that are appropriate to be prescribed to a patient. John Biet is also a former patient of Dr. Harris. He says he's